I'm starting this video in a car just so Torrential Cat is not the only one recording videos in her car. But this video it will be something else, something different. We will be going to the forest, but not to make a nature adventure. I want to check out if something is still there and if it's still as cool as I remember. And then you will see what I'm talking about. Well, since you are watching this video, that means that I found it and it was cool enough. So yeah, now we are going to the den. What den? To the dark den, of course. And the reason for that, I need to pick up a couple of stuff. Need this gorilla pad. Mm. Also need this wide angle lens and a spare battery just in case. And now that we are settled, we can do one teleport to the forest. And I think that we are at the right spot, if you remember. This is where I showed you the den van for the first time. And this is also the spot where I collected leaf litter. I recorded one nature adventure here and I think that I see it. But is it the one? That's the question. Yeah, I think it is. Oh yeah, you see? This awesome piece of wood that got a lot of details and all sorts of moss growing on it. I want to dig it out and take it to the dark den. <laughs> yeah, basically I want to put it in the enclosure. I'm not sure if that's possible and you will see. Let's go back to the car and I'll show you what I have for the excavation. This, this is what I have. <laughs> this is all that I have and I'm not sure if it will be enough. But yeah, I'm certainly going to try. And why is there so many cars now? What is this? Actually, I know why. Now it's the season of the those mushrooms. We call them Vargani, but I'm not sure what is the English name. So I'll write it down. It is really tasty mushroom and now it is currently growing. So people are searching for them in the forest. But we, we have something else to do. Something that regular people couldn't understand. To them, I'm some sort of weirdo that is talking to himself and doing who knows what in the jungle. Not jungle, forest. Technically this is jungle for me because this is all I have here. <laughs> Let's see if this is doable. And basically I want to dig out as much as I can and try not to break anything because you see you have a hole here, you have a hole here, here and also so many details on this piece of wood. And we won't be digging this one. This is also some old part of the log. I hope that they are not connected here or else this will be really problematic but yeah this will be one huge enclosure just imagine it maybe you know for who this would be perfect i think for linda once she is all grown up she will need a huge enclosure because she will be huge so oh some spider here no wait what is this species hmm interesting oh, no, oh, no i will try to oh yes no no spider, no! <laughs> it jumps a bit. Oh no, it, it doesn't jump, it just drops. Well, okay, whatever. We are going to excavate all of this. I just need to start with it. So I'm going to put you on this tree and you will be able to see everything. Not sure if you can hear that. The knocking somewhere on top, the knocking on the wood. That is actually a bird that is trying to get worms out of the, the crust of tree. You will probably hear it now. There we go. I hope that everything is in focus and that you can hear me loud, loud enough. I'm starting with this. Actually, now I realize that you cannot really see what I'm exactly doing from there. So I'm going to place you a bit closer. Yeah, this should be better. As you see, I'm starting to dig under it. And now I realize that all of this is connected. I mean, I assumed that, but I thought that maybe they aren't, but unfortunately it is. We will need to break something. Although first we need to find out what and how it is connected. You see, I freed this first part. It is relatively long. And now I will try to dig under it and see how far this part goes. Okay, now I realize that this part that I'm trying to, to dig up 
it is not actually connected with this part, you see? It is not connected. So I will now continue digging here, this area. And you see now, this whole part is basically excavated. It is completely free. Only this section is holding this piece together with this piece. So I need to be really, really careful with that. I don't want to break it now. Now, of course, I'm going to continue this way and then make a full circle, hopefully. I feel like some sort of archaeologist that is excavating the, I don't know, dinosaur remains and figuring out where is which part going and trying to be as careful as he can. <laughs> Let's continue. Check this out. It looks like some sort of funnel web spider. <laughs> Up, and it's gone. Ow! These things keep poking me all the time. Look! Stop! Oh no, there is a, a ant nest somewhere under the tree. Oh! But you see, I can now slowly move this, definitely getting closer. Maybe I should just try and pull it all up. Not sure if that will work though. Okay, I need to do a bit more digging. But I bet you never saw that you will be watching a video of a grown man digging up a piece of wood in the middle of forest. <laughs> I bet you never thought that. But less talk and more excavating, more digging. Hmm, do I need this? I guess so. Oh, whoa, I think I got it. Pure strength. Oh, look at this. Ah, it's coming outside. Woo, very nice. You see how I dug everything around? And now it's movable, so I will put you again on a tripod here and you can just look at the action. <laughs> This is huge! This is really huge! I will turn it on the other side. There. And there is some more cleaning to be done here, but that is basically it. Look how awesome it looks underneath. So many opportunities. Whoa! But now, after I clean it here, we are going to put it in a den van. Hopefully it can fit my... Nah, it must fit. Then we will take it to a car wash, where I will wash it down with uh, those power, power water thingies. And then for the next six months or so, I will just leave it outside to dry. Maybe inside, I don't know. I will just put it somewhere so it dries, completely dries. It needs to be bone dry, then it will be... Something touched... What the hell? I think there is a web on me or no? I don't know. But yeah. Cleaning time. All right, now I need to take it to car. Um, yeah, that will be a, a tiny challenge. You can watch me from here. Don't laugh, if it works, it's not stupid. <laughs> it is really heavy, much heavier than I thought. Come with me. Now to see if I can even fit this inside. Let's push this and push this. And this, look how dirty my car is. This is because of the cork bark that I was moving. But I have this because I don't need to completely destroy my car, right? And now the, the hard part. Promise me you won't laugh. Ta-da! Now let's teleport to the car wash, right? Teleport. And now, of course, to get it outside once again. see how this will go down. We need to basically flush everything and that is going to be fun. Oh 
Oh, oh, oopsie. That's it, one final test. Teleport back in the dark den. As you see, here is the log. It is already starting to dry. And yeah, I would say that this mission was successful. Now, in the meantime, I posted the picture on the Instagram with this wood in the car. And I, s I have seen the questions about how am I going to treat this wood before putting it inside of some enclosure. The thing is, I won't treat it. As I said, I won't be making enclosure now. This is for some future project. This piece of wood will now be staying outside for six months, maybe even a year, who knows. And in the meantime, it will completely, completely dry out. Now in regards to bacteria and fungi and all that nasty stuff that could be living inside. While it dries, most likely all of that bad stuff, at least majority of that bad stuff will die off. But if they don't die off, it is not really a big problem. I noticed that in the hobby, a lot of people are trying to make a sterile environment for their pets but that is really not necessary you know tarantulas in nature they live in holes inside of the dirt and yes some of the they will die off due to diseases and all that stuff but there is no point in trying to make a completely sterile environment you can't really do that anyway so no I won't be cooking this I won't be treating it in any way and I definitely won't put it inside of the oven I mean you need a huge ass oven to fit this lock inside right so yeah that would be everything i hope you enjoyed this different video if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more there's a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe camera is still completely dirty uh, monday friday see you again soon bye, -bye.